Hi, hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys? Fine. Fine, fine. Fine. Okay, that's great. Fine, tired. Tired. Fine, tired. <laughs> no, 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 you cannot be tired. Uh, it's not allowed. Because I was working. <laughs> <laughs> you are not allowed to be tired today, okay? Uh, Nobody has permission to be tired today. Uh, okay. We have to. We have a lot to work. Really? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a lot of things to do. Okay. So then, uh, and Ronnie is going to be the the, 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 the leader today. Okay, with all the expressions <laughs> that we. No. no. Not yet. Okay, Not yet. good. Well, let me uh, see. We have. What we had yesterday was. The storytelling, right? Vocabulary? Yes. Okay. And okay, and then we have the present perfect. Before we do some practice. Okay. We'll show you this one then. I Okay, look at this one. This is a, yes. a little chart that I found about many, I would share it with you. Uh, it says positive adverbs uh, of manner. Then we have here uh, the ones that are positive, the ones that are negative. And these ones are the, no, the neutral, right? The neutral ones. The neutrals are the ones that, depending on the context, can be positive or negative, right? And these are the ones that we have in the, in the video. And then, for example, some of these are in the list. Some others are not. But for example, this one, if you see uh, coincidentally, it's not on the list, but we have accidentally. And accidentally is a synonym of a coincidental, right? So then uh, this ones you can find them in the dictionary and you will find that a synonym of this and this. Are. So then that's why I put them in red because they are synonyms. Fortunately and luckily are also uh, synonyms, right? And we can find, I guess here, Where is I think I have in the beautiful fortunately, no frankly, honesty. Okay, these ones are not here on the list, but they are positive, right? So these ones are not here. You won't find it here. The other one is, or probably here. No. And then you have miraculously, miraculously is positive. This one is not, uh, is not on this list either, okay? But it's something positive. It's strangely, I think you will find it here, rarely. Rarely. Rarely is here, right? I think it's a synonym of a strange. Okay, and then you have suddenly. Suddenly is here. Okay. And it has no synonym in this case. And then you have surprisingly and unexpectedly. It's also unexpectedly is here. Right? And unexpectedly and surprisingly are here. Okay, so these are unfortunately and sadly. So we have sadly here, 
and we also have the word are sadly here. Okay, so then this is you know a list, an extra list for more vocabulary where you can find when to use uh, positive or negative. But usually, you know, I think that is with an instinct that we use them, right? So then we, and then we have this list is the same. Okay, I will share this uh, in the WhatsApp group later so that you can, that you can see it. But now uh, I want you to use the expressions or the, the, the structure, the structure you see yesterday, yes, hey, yes. For example, the, you know, using the story. Oh, wait. So probably we can activate our previous knowledge. It's too fast. It's a remix. Yes. It's a DJ, DJ, a teacher, <laughs> DJ. <laughs> It's too. It's too. It's too. Right. <laughs> <It's just Hey. laughs> Estás escuchando. Yes. Teacher. Wow, this is new 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 music. Is that is ex, this is ex, ex, accidentally. <laughs> right. bo, bo, boys, 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 boys. Well, no, señor. Hay una canción. Yes, there must be one. No, no señor. Okay. The 80s. <laughs> when she stops her mouth, it's because she, it has already stopped. Right? I will see. Refresh uh, the page, probably, teacher. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, Refresh. I have that there. Yes, there you go. Talk about some. I'm not touching it. Rodney, are you doing something? No. <laughs> mm. oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> listen. <laughs> there is no sound. Better. Hi. Hi, everyone. No, no, I mean, I, we don't this need a sound. Hi. I don't want <laughs> I just. In I'm this class, you learn about the Yes, you already know it, right? <laughs> yeah. Let me see if, it, if I can pose uh, here. Yeah. Okay, this is what I needed. Right, so we don't need the sound. That's this part. Okay, good. So then, uh, this remember this is what we uh, we were talking about last night before the end of the class. I was saying I was walking down the street when. Okay. So we're gonna try to use the remember after when the simple past right and when we have the if we use when at the beginning then we're going to use uh, we, if we use the simple pass at the beginning then we're going to while at the end right so let's try like in this case I started out as a normal it started out as a normal day but while I was uh, while I was driving to work Okay, then you can describe what happened. Okay, so this is what I wanted to, to see, yes, to activate. Now, I need a volunteer to share your, your sentences, ideas, and let's start. Okay, who starts? Who volunteered? The, the examples of yesterday? Yes. Or... Uh -huh, yes, or the ones that you wrote, if you wrote the teacher, With the new words? Uh-huh. Uh, me? Yes. Okay, Gio. Go ahead. Okay. G -G Gio. Um, we were. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> we were on our way to the festival when miraculously the rain stopped and it was the coolest trip we have ever had. Perfect. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, anybody else? Okay, I, I was running when uh, until uh, sorry, sorry. I begin again. Okay. I was running in the street when the when is when the storm is coming. When the storm began. I began. Uh, uh -huh. yes. Yes. Okay. Or when the or when the storm started. Okay, very good. Start. Ah, it started. Yes. Uh, you can use both. No problem. Began or started. Good. Good. Excellent. Anybody else? Like uh -huh. Literature. Okay. Uh, remember that if you want to, uh, uh, the the vocabulary is it also helps to. Do you know the word enhance? What? Enhance. 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 In your in your hands. Uh -huh. No, no, in hands. Yes, no. no. Look at the in the in the chat. Oh. Okay, you know what what the what the meaning of enhance is? Enchant. Uh huh. For yes. example, uh, if you. If you have a, let's say, a party, if you invite, uh, for example, a, let's say a, a, a party in your house and you only have tables and chairs, okay, mm -hmm. how does it look? How does Lonely? it look? If you see only tables and chairs and you have a party in your house. Lonely? Uh, it looks very sober, right? Sober. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. empty right and then sad you know, sad probably uh, sadless probably sad, probably sad. <laughs> okay sad mm -hmm. okay but if you want to enhance the environment mm -hmm. of the room okay if you want to make it better okay if you want lights. to uh -huh, you put some lights you invite Gio with his guitar right? yeah with some yeah. girls some <laughs> <tears. laughs> <laughs> you, you. And then you have some flowers, and then you have a mixer. Uh -huh. You you build a bar. <laughs> uh -huh. then you have a you have a little bar in the corner with yes. lights. So then all this enhances, right? Enhances. Uh, improves. It's like a improves. It's uh -huh. like a improve. Yes, improves the. the if what way? The place. What is the difference? Huh? Uh, enhance, enhance is, is, for example, a word that it means, for example, resaltar, right? And then this is, for mm. example, the includes everything to some, mm -hmm. do something better or to improve, okay? Then and what do you do to enhance? To improve details. Mm -hmm. Okay, so enhance is the global word, okay? Mm. Now, for example, and that's what I was saying. That, for example, when you say a sentence, you know, uh, I was uh, I was walking down the street when suddenly, you see, what happened when you say suddenly? You create what? An expectation in the listener, mm -hmm. right? Um, but if I say, I, you know, uh, you know, I was I was <laughs> run, I was running in the street and then uh, it started to rain. Okay, I have to sit in Mojaste, right? I you got wet, no problem. Okay. But if you say, for example, you know, I was walking down the street when suddenly, okay, uh, when suddenly I saw many dark uh, clouds, you know, in the sky mm -hmm. coming down. And then everybody say, oh, if, then I thought I was going to get wet. Yeah. I was going to, I thought I was going to get completely wet. You see, I'm using completely, okay? I was, I thought I was going to get really wet because, you know, I didn't have an umbrella. But miraculously, okay, or mysteriously, the wind began to flow, I mean, strong, strongly, 
right? Le strong and, lead. Uh -huh, and it took all the clouds away. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it took all the uh, uh, and then you can use, for example, uh, uh, sadly, sadly, after all the clouds went away, the sun was shining and the rest of the day was very hot. You see? But with these words, completely, suddenly, mysteriously, then you get the people's attention and then you attract, right? This is like the hook. Okay, like the hook for having the person paying attention when you speak. So then these words that we are using, the adverse adjectives, they always enhance, okay, improve our our speech. Okay, so that's, that's the idea. Okay. okay, everybody. Anybody else who wants to say another sentence? Don't be shy. Okay, George. George and then Jessica. Okay. Okay. Uh, my sample is I was walking down the street when someone inexpectedly sneezed near a group of people. But luckily they had masks. Very good example. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. Good, good, good. Thank okay. you, George. Thank you. Thank Perfect. You. Okay, Jessica. Okay. It starts out as a normal day, but the cloud alarm didn't ring. So I slept one hour more and I lose an important event. Luckily, I could do other activity and the day was funny. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Then uh, there is another word uh, that you can use. Is it that your sentence is perfect, uh, Jessica. I'm just going to give everybody another Another word for your vocabulary is overslept. Overslept. Yes, it is. Okay, look in the chat. It says overslept is when you sleep. I mean, when you were supposed to get up at six and then suddenly you you wake up at ten or nine or eight, right? Mm -hmm. Then you say I overslept. I stay sleep or oh, yeah, I slept more good another one I got one teacher okay hello I was driving to work when a car unexpectedly passed the red traffic light and hit a store destroying it all miraculously no one got hurt okay very good very good Okay, you can say pass, but also you can use another word, another expression, went through. Uh, exactly. Okay, went through a red light. Well, no, but it has, it, the pass is okay, no problem. You, you, through is, is a very common word for mm -hmm. frequency. Yes. They use yes. it a lot, mm -hmm. through. For example, yeah. uh, you can see through the window. Exactly. Okay. You can enter the house through the window. Okay, <laughs> I went through like a thing when you forget the keys. I have done it. A, I have done it a couple of times. Okay, what else? Another one. Throw away, you say, right? No, throw away. Uh, went through. Because went in my, in my history. When ah, when throw away. Went through only. Okay, okay. Okay, they say when a car went through a red light. Okay, okay. Okay, and that's it. So that is like past, past the red light didn't stop. Okay. Okay, another one. Go ahead. Come on, guys. Me. Yes. Good, Julio. My mom was cooking a cheesecake when coincidentally, coincidentally, yes, yes I start my diet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Julio, that was. That's that. No, that's that's bad. That's a bad example. You know, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When uh, coincidentally you started the day exactly that you coincidentally started your diet, she decided to cook. Very good. Nice example. To cook pudding. Yes, pudding is also good. And it's fun. 
I think it's <laughs> farting in English. It's farting. Fine. <laughs> yes. Okay. People, well, one more, one more. You see, you're doing great. Nice. Hey, teacher. Oh, okay, Cecilia, go ahead. I was walking in the park when I miraculously found a hundred dollar bill, but wow. unfortunately, it was false. <laughs> it was it was fake it was fake money it was fake money okay okay but well you know work, but at least work, you work. at least at least you were happy for a moment okay good example nice yeah. okay okay good somebody else me teacher okay the priest go ahead it started out as a normal day at the in the office but surprisingly, my boss gave me an increased salary. Oh, is it true? No, no, it's a miraculously. <laughs> oh, my God. Then you can say, unfortunately, this is only an example for my English class. <laughs> yes, okay. it's only an example. Okay, so then, uh, then he gave you a raise, right? He gave me a raise. Or he gave increased, me a raise. He, a raise or he increased my salary. Okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Come on, come on. I know you have something to say. Jesse? Yeah. Tell, uh, me, tell, I me, want to... tell me one of the 10 sentences that you have written in this moment. <laughs> Copiando. <laughs> Chipping. No, 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 no. That's good. Este, I was uh, shopping in Siman when suddenly uh, began earthquake. Uh, and this situation passed in uh, 2000 when the, the, I don't remember, 2002? No. 2001, I guess. 2001, the earthquake. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. 2001. The big earthquake. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. the big earthquake. Yes. Okay. I was then shopping in Siman when the earthquake started. Okay, yeah. good. very good, nice example. About real life, you know, this is another uh, yeah. tip that you can use, right? For example, like the case of Julio also that, well, I think everybody's using like personal situations, right? In that case, it's easier for you to, to generate examples, right? Okay, Marvin, Carla, anybody else who wants to? To share. Tomara, Tomara is here. Tomara. Hi. Hello. Do you have a Hello. sentence? Hello. Um, Do you have a story to share? <laughs> uh, okay. I was studying when I received a call. Okay. I was studying when I received Sorry. when I received a call. Yes. Uh, received a call. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. That's another one. Uh, Jaime. Hi. Hello, Jaime. Well, Do you have a story to tell us? Uh, yes, I, I, I hear. Okay. Let me a moment, please. Okay, okay. Teacher, I can do it. Okay, yes. Okay, why well, I was taking a shower when suddenly the water ran out. Okay, good. So I was taking a shower when suddenly the water. Then you can say the water stopped. Stopped, stopped running. Stopped, stopped running. running. Okay. Okay. okay, thanks. Ah, oh, man, you were with the soap low soap all over the body exactly <laughs> okay good okay ready Jaime? teacher i have one okay go ahead jonathan okay this morning was a madness because i overslept at 8 a.m and i had a meeting at 9 a.m but miraculously 
when I drive to my job, there was no traffic. Okay, very good. When I drove, when I drove, I, to yeah, job, I drove yeah. Uh -huh. Perfect. That's a good example okay. too. Okay, excellent. Hey. Okay. I was walking on the street when the, suddenly a car hit me. Okay, that's that's a bad a, a bad uh, like I said a bad experience, right? Okay, good. I was walking in the street when a, when suddenly a car hit. me. Okay, good. Uh, who else? Adrian? No. Yes, Sergio. Uh, ah, uh, yes, Sergio. Uh, I, yeah, uh, I was walking down the street when unfortunately it started to rain. But suddenly my wife showed up in our car. Sadly, I was wet at this moment. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, but at least, you know, she gave you a ride. Good. Yeah. Okay, Robert. Hi. Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. I have a story like uh, Yesenia. <laughs> okay. Um, when I was a uh, job interview, uh, suddenly started the earthquake. Okay. To 2001. <laughs> Okay, 2001. So I was uh, I was in an in I was I was in an interview. Yeah, when, in an interview. When in, the earthquake started. Okay, when the okay. earthquake started. Okay, good. The TV offer. Yes. <laughs> hey. I never I never back. <laughs> you, you never went back to TV offer. No. Okay. Not even on TV. You don't watch. Not even on TV. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, see for example that the example that the, the ex, uh, Robert says, for example, say, uh, I was in an interview. In that case, is because it is the verb to be, we don't need to use, uh, for example, the, the ing form, right? It's obvious. So I was in an interview when the earthquake started. Okay, it seems like if it is too simple past. But it was, it's obvious that it was in the moment, right? Okay. So that's why it's a good example, good sentence. Okay, good. Then, no more? Well, if you have uh, no more questions, no more doubts, okay, uh, try to, uh, you know, during the following classes, try to use these expressions and you will see that, for example, they are very useful in everyday. For example, tomorrow you can tell me, teacher, uh, last night I was trying to connect to the class when the electricity went out. Or, you know, or this morning I was trying to, to practice my English when my boss called me or when I had to do something else. Okay, you know, to, to create these little stories, you know, in phrases to explain uh, situations that happen uh, happen to us every day, so this structure is very useful, right? So try to use it in the in future classes. Okay, when you talk to me, probably you can say that in in a easier or in a more simple way. Okay, but try to use this structure so that you can so that you can put it in practice. Because remember, I always tell you that the probably the the so the, the explanation, the, the structure, you understand it, but the idea here is to practice it because that's the most difficult part. Okay? Yeah. So now I will show you the next topic, which is related to this a little bit. Now the lady is still with the, with the DJ, I guess. With the mix. With the mix, the remix, I guess. Okay, let me see. Okay, here. Okay. Here. Okay, Eric, would you please help us read in the objective? Of course, teacher. Thank you. Two, four, five lesson objective. In this class, participants will listen and practice a conversation where people are watching up on news. Pay attention to the use of present perfect continuous in context. Okay, good. So this is catching up, catching up with uh, the news and then the present perfect continues. 
Uh, let me see the trees. Yes. What's the present perfect continuous? In your own words. Um, I think it's a thing that you can express um, activity mm -hmm. that you start in the past and continues in the in the in continuous. In I continuous think. in uh, high, the present, right? Uh -huh. It continues in the present. Okay. And you have to use uh, uh, the past participle of the verb, and you have to use in the sentence uh, this uh, structure. For example, you have to use had been, and the verb is going to be with ing at the end. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. I, I couldn't have explained that better, okay? Guys, you have a new teacher from tomorrow on, okay? All right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No, very good. Yes, exactly, right? Actually, that's what it says now. Uh, basically, the idea is to use uh, have plus been, right? The being is the past participle of the verb to be. Remember that if you say, for example, I am eating in this moment, okay? I am eating, okay? And then this is the action in this moment. But what happened in the past? You don't know. What is going to happen in the future? You don't know. But if I say, I have been eating eh, tamales, fiskes for two hours. Okay? What do you understand that I have been, you know, asking more and more, you know, in the last two hours, I've been doing the same action in a repeatedly way, right? So I've been repeating the action for two hours. Okay, so this is an idea. Now let's see the video and see what's... But let's see if we can have... Hello, this time... Okay, yeah, now she's normal. She's back to normal. Just let yes. me share my sound. Oh, can you hear it? No problem? We want you to yes. listen to the following conversation. It's okay, the sound? Yes. It's okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Then let's listen. This time, we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Full-time modeling career. Really? Oh, well, that's exciting. I've been working too. Hey, Gina. Okay. Uh, the question that the lady asked after the conversation, she says, what have, what have they done, right, since they, since they last saw each other? Okay, it's been, for example, suppose that they, the last time that they were together was uh, five years ago, okay? So the question is, what have you been doing in those five years, right? So this is the conversation, and then it says, uh, I haven't seen you in ages. That's what I say, I haven't seen you in ages is an expression that means I haven't seen you in a long time, okay? I haven't seen you in ages. And sometimes, you know, we exaggerate, right? For example, the, hey, you can say, I may, I haven't heard from you in ages. And probably was, you know, just uh, last night. Right? Sometimes you can be 
sarcastic with that uh, expression, right? But in some, in other cases can be real, right? I haven't seen you in ages for one month, two months, three months, one year. It depends. What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Okay, what are those things that you have been doing in the last uh, month or in this case, months? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. Okay, you see, for her, nothing exciting. I have been working in two different places and for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip tomorrow. What is how come? Means why? It's like this way. Why? why? Mm -hmm. How come? Why? Okay. I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Okay. Well, yeah, what about you? Well, I've only been spending money. So it's the opposite, right? Yeah. It's the opposite of Gina. She's saving and this guy's spending. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. So this is, you know, like, estoy detrás de, right? So I'm uh, after by chasing, I'm uh, trying to, to finish a full-time modeling career. Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. Okay, you see, how long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, so all the time. But I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, you saw all the the different situations in which they use the present perfect. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Okay. What has happened since they last saw each other? For example, Gina. Now we're going to use the third person, right? Gina has what? Working. What? Gina has been, has been working. Okay, no. then you can We're see. Exactly. No, yeah, that's good. Gina has been working what? Two jobs. Two jobs. Two jobs. Two jobs. Two jobs. Two jobs in the last, the last six, six months. months. Okay, Gina has been working two jobs. I mean, I'm asking, I mean, if you say Gina has been working, it's perfect. I'm asking you more just for you to practice, right? And, uh, but uh, remember that when we speak the language, we give information according to what we feel. Okay, so then uh, Gina has been working two jobs for the last month. What else? Mm, and she has saved. She has money. She has a trip tomorrow. Saving. Remember, saving. she has been saving money. Okay, for what? For a trip. For a trip, for a trip. She, for a she wants trip. to make a trip to a Morocco. Yes, to make a trip or to take a trip to Morocco. Okay, what else? How do you say pla planning? He has been planning a trip. Planning, planning. Planning, planning. 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 He has planning been planning. a trip. Yes. Okay, okay. She has been planning a trip. Okay, very good. What else? And that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. What about it? What about it? He's pursuing a full-time modeling career. He's been pursuing, right? He's been he, pursuing a full-time modeling career. And since, he's spending money. Uh -huh, since he finished uh, school, no, since he graduated, okay. he's been spending mm -hmm. money. Yep. What else? He needs a job. Now, uh -huh, he's probably, he has been looking for a job, maybe, right? Yes. Okay, or the, look at the, in the last participation of, uh, of Pete, he says, I haven't been getting any work. Then you can use also the negative form, right? He hasn't yeah. been getting, any he hasn't been getting any work. 
okay, mm -hmm. or any so, any yeah. job, okay. Like for example, you can some people now can say, for example, in this last three months, I haven't been getting any salary, okay. I haven't been getting any 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 work, okay? any commission. Uh huh. That okay. I actually use it. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. That's why probably a commission that you have. Okay. Let's continue listening. Now pay attention also to pronunciation, right, or vocabulary. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay. What has happened to Peter and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. Okay. How is it going? I haven't seen you for a while. They change some expressions, right? What have you been up for a while? Well, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I mean, what have you been up to is something like, what have you been doing? Okay, up okay. to. It's like, what are you up to? Okay, like, how are you? you, you? you? Uh-huh. How have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I okay, I've been looking for a house. Finally found one last month. That's okay. Pay attention to the activities, right? Terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. Okay, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have okay. a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. That must have been. That must have been. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, would you let repeat the sentence that you say? Uh, yes, so that's what I'm going to repeat right now. Yes. That's it. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. That must have been. Okay, listen again. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. That must have been some vacation. And the other he expression said, that you, you said, the, I don't know why, I don't know what, up, something like that. Wait a minute. Hello? Yes, the, wait, wait, wait. In the beginning been, of the conversation, that teacher. Must, that must have been. Yeah, the beginning of the conversation, that's right. Quite happy to have been too. Yeah, that, that's yeah, the, yeah, that. You walk ahead, you. Uh, okay. What the okay, expression yes. is? Wait, wait, wait. Just let me, I'm writing right now the last one. Okay, and, um, okay this is what he says. Okay. Look in the chat. Well. That must have been some vacation. That must have been some vacation. Must vacation. That must have, must have, okay? Must and have is must have. That must have been some vacation. 
Okay. So then, uh, and this one, for example, is uh, uh, you have the the model auxiliary, right? It must have been good, right? Uh, for example, uh, suppose that this is when something that you have like a logical conclusion, right? This guy is, a, is making a conclusion, right? And what is the conclusion? That the vacation must have been very nice. Okay. Now, teacher, I, I think it's awesome instead of some vacation. Oh no, that's that's the expression. But wait a minute. That's the expression. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Okay. Been what up to. What, been have up you been, what have you been up to? Okay. What have you what? been up to? Up. No. You've been up to. Mm -hmm. Up to. Can you... yes. Up to. It's in the chat. Up to. Up right. To. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and then. How it can be up to. Yes. Now listen again. Well, that must have been some vacation. That must have been some. Okay, listen again. Oh, that must have been some vacation. That must have been some. That must have been some. Because if it says awesome, we say it must have been an awesome, an awesome vacation. Okay. Oh, that must have been some vacation. That must have been. If if you say an awesome, then you have to say an awesome vacation. I mean, it could it makes sense, but you say that must have been an awesome vacation. An awesome vacation. Okay, that would be, then it would be longer, right? I would say they must, it must have been, that must have been. Okay, so these are expressions that you can use. All right, now what are the things that these people have been doing? What was the um, name of, the guy was Bob, right? And the girl? Trip, uh, Italy. Okay, Italy. To they, Italy. Uh, his what name is... I don't remember the Jane, name. I think so. What? Jane, I think so. Jane, okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, now, <laughs> what are, I forgot the name of the name. I don't know if you said it. Okay, then uh, okay. Eh, we have, what are the things that the guy has been doing? He has been looking for a, to buy a house, a new house, because he is tired. Uh -huh. he, has, he has been tired to, to rent. To rent. For being renting. No, he's tired. He's tired. He's tired, he's tired of, okay. of renting. Okay, okay. He's right. tired of renting. He's been looking for a house because uh -huh. he's tired, tired of renting. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Yeah. And he, and he finally found the house. Finally found a house. Okay. Exactly. He finally found mm -hmm. a house. Okay. Uh, then, if you say, for example, look at this difference. He's been looking mm -hmm. for a house, and he has finally found a house. Found okay, a house. you see, for example, that you can see that when we use the uh, the present perfect progressive, uh, the action like continues, goes on, right? And when we say he has found a house, is that finally the action is over, is finished. Oh, uh, okay, uh, okay. I have found a house, it's oh, done, no problem. Okay, what else? Okay. What else, um, what else? And, and the compliment could be, you know, in a, some place, some uh, residence. Yes, yeah. ah, yes. Recent, yeah, okay. He has finally found a house in Santa, <laughs> in Santa Ana. In London. Uh, yes, in London or in, <laughs> in, in Chalchuapan. <laughs> no, Chapan. Okay, good. 
Okay, then uh, in the girl, what is something that she has been doing? The girl went uh, he, he, to Italy on vacation, uh, to Milan specifically, uh -huh. uh, and he, he she, got a boyfriend. <laughs> she, yeah, she got a boyfriend. In this, yeah, okay. describe it. In, in this case, will be, and she got some change. Engage. 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 Got it. But, but it's got. guts. She got. She got. Uh, oh, okay, she got okay. Engage because in past. Uh -huh. Engage. She got engaged. Okay. And now she has been planning to get married, maybe. Right? She has been okay. planning. She, she has, has been. been. She has been has planning. Been planning okay. to get married. Okay, she, okay. Says, she says that she's going to get married. Okay. So that's the. Well, these are some examples. Now let's see the. The ones that we can produce, because the next one I think is. Look at this one, Jesse. Can you please read this uh, objective here? Okay, uh, two point seven lesson objective. By the end of this class, participants will understand, use, and practice the present perfect continuous. Okay. Let's let's see this video and then we see all the questions that you have and then let's see the structure. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. Yes, if you see, this mm -hmm. is like, like the key, right? The key for to, let's say, to, to create sentences or ideas in the present continuous. Remember that when we have I, we, you, and they, to pronounce, we use have. And then always, we're going to use been. We have been working. And then we have been working together since last year. Okay, and for he, she, it, then we use has. So we're going to use have. This is have. just negative, positive, and interrupted. What do you mean? This is, this ones are affirmative. The, the two sentences. Affirmative, right? Okay, okay, uh -huh. okay. Yes, yeah, this is affirmative, okay. this is affirmative. Now, if you want to make negative, I think it's after, but you can say only have not. And has okay. not. Maybe we'll just have, the, have, right? Yes, only not. Yeah. Hasn't, haven't. Okay, okay. Have not, has not. And for the question, you only put have at the beginning. Have you we? Changed. Have you? Uh huh. Have you, have you been working? Have you been uh, listening? Have you, has it been raining? Has it been raining this day? Yes, it has. Okay. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning 
followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Okay, I think that now we have a, a good, uh, let's say a good scenario for, for this practice, right? For example, what have you been doing these last three months? Quarantine. Uh -huh. But what have you been doing? I have been, I have been studying. I have been, I have been doing. studying. Uh -huh. Sergio? Okay. Uh, I have been working almost uh, like a regular form. Okay, I have office. been working. Uh -huh. I've been working uh, in a regular way. You know, I'm doing home office, so I've been working. Okay. Uh -huh. What else? I have been extra. How do you say? Yes. Go ahead. Exercising. Okay. Very good. Exercising I've been myself. Exercising myself. Okay. Because when the quarantine is over, I'm going to go home. to the beach. I'm going to compete. Um, you're going no. to compete in Mr. Mr. World Champion. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. World Gym. Huh? Yes, you're going to go to the beach. Yes. Okay, good. Excellent, Eric. What else? What else have you been doing? Now think about the things that you have been doing. For example, I have been I have been eating a lot. Okay? Uh -huh. and then, <laughs> I have oh, I'm sorry, Julio. I'm sorry, Julio, you're on the diet. <laughs> It really was like, uh huh. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Tell me now. <laughs> okay. What else? I, I have been. watching movies. I have been watching movies. I have been. I I have been watching. Yes, I have been watching titles. movies. Uh -huh. I have been watching novelas. I have been. I have been watching soap operas. Soap operas. Soap operas. Soap operas yes. Okay. Again, yes. again, reprise. <laughs> again and again. I think it's, I have been watching again, some operas and again, again and again and again. And again and again and again. <laughs> okay, good. You have, been, you, you have been watching Chisquita, no? What is the name? <laughs> yeah. What I else? I've uh -huh. been watching the Chavo del Ocho. Chavo del Ocho, yeah. <laughs> good one, that's a good one. That's good. All, all the episodes. All, all the episodes. <laughs> all the episodes. <laughs> Netflix already put Betty La Fea on Netflix. Already? So. Okay. Yeah. And and you, can say, you can say, I've been, watching, I've been watching Betty La Fea, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Betty La Fea and Betty La Fea New York. You uh -huh. Yes, they have it everywhere, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that, well, the, the, the last one will be Betty La Fea in Wuhan, right? From, uh, <laughs> Maybe. With COVID. To China, yeah, with the COVID. Ugly Betty. Ugly Betty. <laughs> Ugly Betty, yeah. Ugly Betty. Yeah. Betty in China. Yes. In yes. El Salvador, we'll be next. next yeah, episode. the next one. Ugly Betty in El Salvador, too. In okay. Saya <laughs> City. Okay, <laughs> Soya City. We got the, the ugly Amanda. Because the ugly, <laughs> oh, ugly Amanda, the rain. Yes. Storm. yes. Okay, what else have you been doing? What else have you been doing? Me? Yes. Uh, she has been making exercise a few months. For a few months. Uh -huh. She has been. Okay, if it is another person, say she has been. Okay. Or I have been. Okay. And you, Jesse, have you been doing exercise? Yeah. I have been. Uh, huh? I'm sorry. Okay, oh, Jessica, you say it, right? No, Jessica. Okay, Jessica, yes. So have you been doing exercise, Jessica? Okay, I have been doing, uh, no, I have been reading uh, official documents of government. Oh my God, are you a lawyer? Decretos. No, I, I decrease. Ah. Decrease. Are you a lawyer? No teacher for my boss. Okay, good. Fine. Oh my God. <laughs> before, I, before I say anything against against lawyers. Okay, so you have been reading documents, right? You have been re reading documents and decrease. I have been writing recipes for my family. Oh, 
Yes, good, Carla, good, Carla. Up to Julio, right? You have been re reading <laughs> recipes. Maybe, if you okay. want. <laughs> Julio, you know, Carla sure. has been reading recipes. Okay, for, for healthy food. Um. For, uh, for healthy food. <laughs> for my diet. For your diet, correct. Yes, for your diet. You see? You have good people in this group. Okay, what else? If, okay, hi, man, huh? I have been working more at home than in the office. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> really. Yes, it's true. It's true. You see, this is a nice example. I have been working. Kevin, more Kevin Platero home. is uh -huh. here. Uh, Kevin Platero is here. He, he, he know. Okay. Okay. Is it yes, true? I know it. <laughs> you know it's true. Okay. All right. Good. You, yeah. I mean, you validate that information. Kevin. Kevin, you confirm that Jaime is working more? Yes. Okay, great. I confirm that. Okay, perfect, no problem. Okay, anybody else? Come on, come on. Hi, teacher. Yes, Eve, tell me. I have been. I have, I have been working in house office for three hours. Okay, I have been doing, I have been doing uh, home office for three hours, every day. Every day, uh, Monday and Friday. A Monday to Friday, okay, very good. Okay, Simone, what have you been doing? Um, I have been watching Anne with an E on Netflix. What, what, what have you been watching, Anne? Anne with uh -huh. an E. Okay. It's a series. Yeah. No, it's and a with series. An e. mm -hmm. okay, Yes, good. in Netflix. Good? Is it good? Yes, it's very good. <laughs> okay, good. It's and, interesting. Uh, interesting. Okay. Yes. Okay, anybody else who wants to... Oh, Roberto, Roberto. Say something. Hi. <laughs> okay, I, I have been trying to get a diet, but I failed. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Don't do it. Don't worry about it. Life, life, life is short. Enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 Julio. It's just kidding. We're just kidding, okay? Okay, no. Go on a diet. Every, tomorrow, from tomorrow on, everybody's on a diet, okay? We're going to make a, a, support, a support group for Julio, okay? Okay, people. Then, uh, well, if you don't have any questions in this moment, okay, I know probably you do. A practice on this, okay, for for tomorrow and tomorrow we're gonna be using. Well, today we use I have. Tomorrow we're gonna try to use uh, all the pronouns, right? We, they, uh, he. Probably he, she, it, because sometimes the practice with he, she, it has to do with using has, right? For example, it has been raining a lot this month, okay? And there is something very interesting with this. Uh, this is the last thing before we go. Uh, when we use this tense, sometimes uh, when you enter a house and you feel the smell of cigarettes, what do you say in Spanish? Okay, for example, like when, when you go enter a house, say, alguien ha estado? Smokers been smoking. Smokers uh -huh. been smoking. Sometimes we say, for example, alguien ha estado Probably the person Somebody. or the action is not there anymore. But in oh, English okay. and also in Spanish, we use like, hey, somebody has been smoking here, right? Mm -hmm. Because there is a still some evidence that that action was taking place there. Okay, somebody has been okay. smoking here. Or when you go outside, you were sleeping probably in your house, then you go outside and you see that everything is wet. Okay, and they say, oops, it has been raining. Okay, but when you are inside a building in your office and then you don't see the, the exterior, when you go out and you see that everything is wet, you say, but it's not raining anymore, no, no more rain, but you say, oh, it has been raining, okay? Or okay. when you go to your house, then you go and you touch the TV and the TV is off, but it's hot. 
right? Then you say, ah, somebody has been watching, watching TV. TV. Okay, somebody has been watching TV. The evidence is that the TV is still hot. Okay, so then that means that probably the action was happening before, and then you can still perceive, okay, the, the, the evidence of that action. Okay, so this is something that you know that we will be practicing tonight. Okay. So then, have a okay. good night, everybody. Okay, stay Thank safe. You, See right. you good tomorrow. Night, okay, good right. night. <laughs> Practice as much as you can. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.